Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again. They hit you with a video. Now, this video comes out of the middle, I don't know, the middle of some damn well. But anyway, we have some broke people in this video. And the reason why I said broke people, because damn it, they must not learn, or they must not know what time it is out here in these streets. Because guess what? It's way too much going on in this world, you know, for you to put your life at risk over some damn clothes. And just like this story right here, where we have about four or five idiots, yes, with the capital I, idiots go up in a damn store. And you know, you wouldn't have to do all this damn stealing and stealing clothes and jeans and shirts and stuff. They didn't want to call themselves boosters. You're not a booster. You're a damn crook. You're a thief. That's serious as it get. I mean, have you ever was driving somewhere or you went to a store and you see somebody open up their trunk, not saying they finna pull out a gun on you or nothing like that, or their back seat, and they got all kinds of damn clothes scattered out, and then you look at the damn clothes, you be like, well, damn, you got it marked up more than what the actual price has. I done seen one pair of clothes where the price was like $50. They want to charge $75. So I like, well, shit, I could have did better just going to the damn store. They're going to tell me what well, the story in this state. So you have a lot of people that do this type of boosting and, and, and stealing. They'll travel to another state and sell that shit because they know they're looking for all that stuff in their area, their region or whatnot. But that's what a lot of them do. They want to call themselves boosters. I wouldn't buy shit from him because first of all, you're not going to uh, incriminate me in anything, include me in nothing. I'll pay cash for what the hell I want. If I can't afford it, I don't need it. But we have grown people this day and age who would decide to go up in a store. Now, what if the police would have pulled up? You feel me? Now, what if there would have been a shootout? What if there would have been a car chase and innocent people uh, losing their lives? What if these people would have pulled out and drive out the parking lot too fast and ran a mother and her ch uh, children over or a father and his kids over? See, we don't think about things like that, but we want to make excuses for these people when they wind up hurt. You know what? The best way to do is to avoid trouble is just don't do shit. Stay out of it. Period. But this is why you should wake up and go get a damn job. So you have people that spend so much energy every day waking up to go do wrong. And you can take that same energy and apply yourself in doing right. And guess what? You can have what you want. You can go in a store and, and spend seven, eight thousand dollars on clothes. And that's what you want to do because you don't work for it. Then you ain't got to worry about nobody like me putting you on blast and other YouTubers and bloggers also. But when I first seen this video, I said, what the hell is Carly Red? I, I didn't know if that was Carly Red or I didn't know if that was, uh, what's, what's uh, Kirk from Love and Hip Hop? Uh, Rashida. I said, damn, Rashida must done lost her damn clothing business and every damn thing. What the hell is going on? Kirk just done took her to the damn ringers, but it wasn't. I don't know who the hell that was, but then as bad as them shorts look, she needed some clothes. The only thing she had to do was just turn around and show these shorts. Like, look, you see these shorts I got on? I mean, I need help. Can somebody help me? You know, I prayed to Jesus. Jesus won't come right now because I ain't living like he said I'm supposed to live. Can you please give me a pair of shorts? And a little Korean uh, clerk would have looked like, yeah, I'll help you. Would have probably gave you a pair of shorts, tore up with them shorts. Look here, if I walk by the store, I would have just slung pointed all over. Like, huh, just take it. Just go buy a pair of shorts. Go buy some damn some, something to put on you. But anyway, I do not I do not understand why people, and then number one, they go commit these crimes, which is very stupid in this day and age because you got cameras everywhere. It's not like it was 15, 20, 30 years ago when you had a camera here, you had a camera there. They got cameras Every damn well. How you think we're getting all this exclusive footage and stuff? But anyway, I don't understand how people can can go get somebody else and go commit a crime with them, not realizing nine times out of ten, it don't matter if you grew up with this person. Y'all talking about? I knew this person since we was in grade school together, since we was playing uh uh lunchbox together. I don't know what the hell lunchbox mean. I guess that means sandbox, baseball, or whatever the hell. It don't matter how long you knew about stuff. But guess what? They would tell on you soon as the heat get on them. You know what I'm saying? 
But if you apply yourself into doing right, you don't have to worry about doing all this damn wrong. You see what I'm saying? You have two kinds of people in the world. You have those who build. You have those who destroy. You have those who maintain. And you have those who don't give a fuck, period. Now, you can decide what you want to be. You can either be on this end where, you know, you're doing things the correct way, or you could be over here on this end doing things the wrong way and constantly have to look over your shoulder over petty situations because it's not like she was going to go get a Bugatti. It's not like she was in a bank about to get $10 million or a million or 500000 You're still in clothes, period. And that's supposed to make you feel bad. Like, how can you go brag to your friends and say, we did this, we took that, when it's just material it's not nothing that you can it's not nothing that you can house in something that you can put your furniture in if you got furniture because hey look i'm thinking if you still enclosed you ain't got furniture but it's nothing that you can drive in you see what i'm saying it's something that you can throw on your back and you wear and you're going to sit up here and put your freedom at risk over that which is very stupid and not realizing law enforcement watch these tapes they have inventories they have these uh these skew numbers uh and they shows Pretty much where these merchandise come from. That's how they can tell, especially when it's large quantities in boats. They have package, they have shipment, inventory, and statements to show where it come from. For those of you all who buy this material, you need to be careful because you may just find yourself in trouble. Just like they had an instance, they had a lot of Jordans that was on a train. And a train messed around and uh something happened. It broke down a caboose or something, something happened or whatever. And the train was on a train track throughout the night. So somebody must have known there was some Jordans up in there. And it's been some years ago. They went over there and took all them damn Jordans. But these Jordans had a certain number in there. You look at your Jordans uh, when you get through it right now, if you want to, they have a certain number in there and it's coded like that. Yeah, so they can pretty much decide where it come from, who shipped it, uh, what story was going to or whatnot. And the police was rounding up all these people. It was like these blue, these blue Jordans. And they was uh, rounding these people up, making them take off their shoes. And they was matching these numbers. And they was arresting the people, giving them charges and tickets and whatnot. Some of them didn't go to jail. But the point is they had got embarrassed and got the shoes took. While the other ones that went and purchased their shoes and had the receipts, you're good to go. The point I'm trying to make is this right here. You know, when you do stupid things like this, you can always bet stupid things will happen to you. It is better to live right than try to live wrong any day. But you have people who will still try to beat the system. You can't beat the system. So why not join the system, period? Because you're not going to win in the long run. And if you also 25, 30 years old, but it's helpful. I don't know why they put hoodies on. You still can see the damn uh, feature of your damn face. That's all they really need. They can match that up. You know, for anybody that does computer animation and stuff like that, graphical design, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They can match your face up the way it looks. So just because you wear a hoodie, it ain't going to do no good if you ain't got no damn ski mask on, but I ain't going to tell you how to do it. But what I'm trying to say is this. Apply yourself into doing right. You go to work. You work hard. You can have all that. You ain't got to worry about going in the store stealing shit. You ain't got to worry about jumping in the car. Just like the story I did out of Michigan where you had these three uh these three black women who went up in a Walmart now, a Walmart. They've been drinking and everything. Left their children at home. Yeah, left their kids at home. Three of these women, and all of them been drinking. And one girl tried to jump in the trunk, remember the story, and hide the license plate, not realizing that the person that was driving the car is scary and trying to get away too, and end up backing up, running over the friend, and then running over the girl again. The girl was stuck on the car until the car peeled off, and they left her there to die over stealing stuff from Walmart. See, you don't realize what this stuff can turn into. You see what I'm saying? But... Trust me, it will not be worth it in the end because how are you going to sit there and tell your children or whatever, this is what you do for a living or this is why I'm in trouble because you want to steal some damn clothes. It's not like you're stealing clothes for them and y'all dirt poor or something like that. You know what people will really understand. Then, even then they would say, well, get a job. So think about all that because there's nothing cool with grown folks doing this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? They, well, they run in stores and everywhere else. Then as soon as we get gunned down, they want, make, they want people to make videos saying, oh, they're wrong. Why would you do this? I'm not saying nobody should get killed over clothes, but the point is you don't put yourself in that situation where you would be driving a car and a police jump out and tell you to stop just like they're going to do and you still driving your car toward them because you want to get away. You don't want to get caught. You see what I'm saying? And they say they, they fear for their life and then they shoot you. All those some damn clothes. Anything can happen this day and age. You must be aware of that. But like I tell you all, it pays to do right. Leave this BS alone. Leave the petty stuff alone. I wasn't going to make it funny. I'm just pretty much trying to enlighten you all. It will pay off better more in the long run to do right. 
and do wrong. Apply yourself into having things and making money instead of sitting up here trying to be a crook because whatever you practice the most every day, that's what you're going to perfect. So either you can perfect being right and doing things the correct way or you can try to perfect things and being a crook and that's not going to end no way. Let me know what you all think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends who think it's still cool at 30, 40, 50, 60 years old to be still in petty shit. That's all I got to say. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm out. Yeah.